Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Nick with another video today. In fact, this is going to be a tag video. And I chose to do it outside because it's such a gorgeous day. It was raining cats and dogs this morning and then all of a sudden the sun came out and um, decided to use the Japanese maple in the yard as my backdrop. I love this tree. In fact, I've, I've dubbed it Demelza. Uh, fans of Poldark will get that reference. Love, Eleanor Tomlinson. Anyway, again, this is a tag video. I've watched these videos for quite a while now, and I always thought that they would be a lot of fun to participate in. And today I have finally my chance to do just that, thanks to Barry over at Sensualize. He's got a great channel, and he's been such a huge support to me and my channel since I started about a month ago. Really great guy. He's got a, a really laid-back, relaxed, chill uh, style about him that I enjoy. And again, he's just he's, he's an awesome, awesome individual. So check out his channel. I'll leave his link in the description. So today's subject is top 10 cheapies for life. So what constitutes a cheapie? Well, that is relative, of course, to, I guess, how big your bank account is. If you're used to buying niche fragrances and you're spending $200, $300, $400 $400 on your scents, then, um, yeah, I mean, you could pretty much consider a whole lot to be a cheapie. But for the typical fragrance buyer, collector, well, we consider a cheapie to be like $40 or under. Normally, scents that you can pick up at an online uh, retailer, discounter, or a rack store. So that's what I have on my list today. I don't think I've spent more than $40 on any of these. So let's go ahead and jump into the list. I started at number 10 with Salvatore Ferragamo Romo Signature. Awesome scent. I picked this one up before... Um, last winter and uh, just wore it throughout. Enjoy it a lot. That coffee, um, the leather, cinnamon, tonka, it's just a, a wonderful scent. Again, great for the, the colder weather months. This one was uh, introduced in 2018 and you can pick it up pretty much all over the place for less than $30. So Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Signature. Number nine, I have Mercedes Benz for Men. This was recommended by TLTG Reviews. I took a chance, picked up a bottle, and I love it. It gets compared to Dior Fahrenheit, and the comparison is justifiable. It is very, very close, except Mercedes Benz here takes it in a slightly fresher, more citrusy direction, which I enjoy. So I'm planning on basically wearing this one all year round and planning to get a lot of wear out of it over the spring and summer. So Mercedes Benz for men at number nine. Number eight, we have this beauty here, Dunhill Desire Red. Sweet fragrance, apple, just, um, just a beautiful, beautiful scent. It's very uplifting. It's a great one to wear, again, in the warmer weather months. So glad that I picked this one up. This one's been around since 2000, so it's, I mean, it's, it's been around for a long time. And it, does, it gets a reasonable amount of, of talk and reasonable amount of love in the fragrance community. And for good reason. I mean, it's, it's a really great scent. Dunhill Desire Red. Number seven, I've got a Zara fragrance. This is Gourmand Leather. Picked this one up last year. Really enjoy wearing it. It's uh, their take on JPG Le Mans, and it's very close. Um, in fact, I like this one a lot better than Le Mans. It just does better with my skin chemistry, and um, I started wearing this. My son smelled it. He really liked it. He stole my bottle, and I had to go and get uh, another one. A very enjoyable scent. Um, the Zara website lists bergamot, leather, and iris as being the notes. There's a whole lot more going on here than that, I'm sure. But uh, really great scent for the fall-winter. 
Next on the list is a fragrance from Calvin Klein, Escape. This one has been in my collection since it came out in 1993. I just truly love this one. Rightfully, Eternity could have been here too because you can pick that one up relatively cheap, but I think you can get this one a little bit cheaper. And I really enjoy this one during the warmer weather months. Um, that melon, the eucalyptus, the fir is just amazing. Um, very uplifting, clean scent to wear. Love it. Calvin Klein, Escape. Next is a recent addition, Perry Ellis 360 Red. This too gets compared to a well-known fragrance, that being Aqua de Jo. Um, again, I, I, can, I can see the similarities there. This one, to me, having worn Aqua de Jo for many years, um, and also having seen it go through the reformulations, I get slightly better performance out of this one here now than the, the recent formulations of Aqua de Jo. So this is one that I would probably reach for before the other. But a great fragrance here. I'm glad that I added this one to the collection. I think I picked it up for... Um, I think it was around $14. So, really, really good deal on that one. Perry Ellis 360 Red. This one was uh, also on Barry's list. In fact, I think he would probably make most lists out there. But it's uh, Guerlain uh, Lome Adial Cologne. Uh, just such a smooth, beautiful, uh, well done fragrance. I mean, this is quality here. This is the best that you can get for this price point, which I picked up this bottle for less than $20. I think it was like $19.99 or something like that at Marshall's or um, TJ Maxx. And then I was able to find another bottle a little while later um, on clearance for $16. So I thought since this was discontinued that I would go ahead and pick up an extra bottle. And I'm glad I did. Really enjoy wearing this one as I do the the entire ideal um, lineup. Um, beautiful fragrance. And then at number three, you can't have a cheapy list without this one. It's, I think, probably the king of the cheapy, Monica Voyage. I don't know why it took me so long to add this to my collection. It's like I smelled it, you know, way back when it came out, and I was like, oh, it's, it's nice. But I actually never went out and bought it until um, maybe a couple of years ago. And yeah, it's like, why have I not had this in the collection up until now? Great uh, spring summer scent with the, the apple, the green notes, the mimosa, um, lotus. Um, just it's, it's spring summer in a bottle, really. It's a great one for, you know, getting out of the shower. And, uh, and spraying on. You just, you smell clean, you, you, you smell like, um, like, like vacation. So, I mean, how can you get any better than that? So, Nautica Voyage coming in at number three. Number two was also on Barry's list, um, because really you can't have, again, a list like this without this one. This one gets talked about so much because it's so good. Bentley for Bent Intense. The, the rum, that, that boozy quality about this when it makes it such a great fragrance for the colder weather. Everybody should have this, this one in their collection. I, I, I can't see anyone not liking this one. Um, I probably could have also put uh, Robert Graham Fortitude in this list too, but I, it just it's it's slightly above forty dollars. I think you can pick it up for about forty five, forty six dollars. Very similar to this one, just as good, but uh, because of the price point, you can get this one cheaper. I put this one on the list, and yeah, it's 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 a great one. And then finally, number one, and this one is at number one because I do feel like it's probably the, the best out of the 10 on this list. I was so surprised when I picked this one up. It was a blind buy um, that I got from one of the online discounters, Davidoff Zeno. So I had heard that this one was very hard to get used to, um, especially the, the very sharp opening. No, not for me. 
I love this one at first sniff. I find this to be such a comforting fragrance with that creamy sandalwood, the rose. I just, I love wearing this one. The longer I have it, the more I find myself reaching for it. Davidoff Zeno. So that does it for my top 10 lists. And of course, being that this is a tag video, I'm going to tag three others. I would love to see what their top 10 is going to be. So the first one is going to be Fernando over at Frankie Cole Medina. I came across him in, on Facebook and uh, started checking out his channel. He's got a, a great channel, just uh, pretty much starting out too. So um, he could, you know, uh, really use the support. So go over, show him some love. Um, number two is going to be Ollie's mom. I discovered her through Instagram, started watching her videos, and she's just so adorable, so funny. She cracks me up. Go check her out. And number three, Steve at Fragrance Fanatic. Steve has been a huge support uh, to me in the channel since it started. Um, he's provided a lot of encouragement, and I think he too has an awesome channel. Um, I love his review style, and I love seeing his reactions when he smells new stuff that he likes. I mean, it's, it's just priceless. So go check out those three. Again, I'm going to leave the link in the description down below. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this list here. And that will do it for this video. Until the next time, see ya.